Amen. 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 Oh, my, 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 I know those are simple words. Yes. But oh, what meaning they carry for me tonight. Amen. Have you ever felt like nobody understands you? Amen. 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 Have you ever felt like that nobody was listening? Amen. 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 Have you ever felt have you ever been to the place to where you felt like you just didn't even have the words to put in the put, you couldn't put it into words the way that you feel? Amen. Aren't you glad tonight that he knows yes. he knows our heart? Amen. Aren't you glad tonight that tears are a language yes. that God understands? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Many times on our journey, we find ourselves to the place to where either the trial is so rough or the fire is so hot or the, the thing that we're going through is so bad that we, we sit somewhere and it, it, without words. Words escape us and we don't even really know. I, I can't count the times over the years that I've prayed and I've said, Lord, I've talked to the Lord and said, Lord, I don't know what to pray. I don't even know what to say, Lord. Right. But you know. Amen. Wow. He knows. He knows our heart tonight. Yeah. He knows the things that go on. Reese knows me Come on. better than you do. Amen. Right. But she don't know me like God knows me. Amen. Amen. She don't know me like He knows me. Come on. Hallelujah. My, my, my. There's a song that they used to sing. There's a place in my heart that I don't go I've got some things in there that I don't want no one to know. But He knows every room of our heart. Amen? He understands when other people don't. Amen? Whenever you feel like you can't pray, all you can do is cry. He knows. He hears your heart. Amen? Right. He hears your tears. True. Hallelujah. He understands the pain that you go through. Right. He understands when you cry, sometimes... I've been married for 28 years. I know what it's like to see a woman cry and have no idea why. Amen. You don't know what's going on. But God knows. Amen. Right. People may look at you and they may not understand why you're crying. God knows. Oh. They may not be able to hear. Amen. But God hears. Right. He knows your heart. He hears your tears. Amen. Amen. I want you to turn with me to the book of Psalms, the 139th chapter. I'm not going to keep you but a few minutes tonight. I can't preach the message that I studied on for hours and hours and hours. Amen. <laughs> Not tonight anyway. Hallelujah. But we're going to go to the book of Psalms, the 139th chapter. And I doubt very seriously that very many people in the history of the world knew more about this than the writer of Psalms 139. The sweet psalmist of Israel, the psalmist David, amen, knew what it was like to soak his couch with tears. Amen. He knew what it was like to be in the dark of the night and long for morning and hear the voice of the Lord say that, that weeping will last only for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Amen. You might feel like tonight you're in the darkest part of the night. There's an old song that says the darkest part of any night is just before the dawn. Amen. You may feel like you can't go on any farther. Just keep holding on. Amen. It it reminds me sometimes of how that, and I know the Lord breaks things down sometimes in foolish fashion in order to explain them to me, but many times in some of the old Western movies you might watch and your heroes look like that they're all out of bullets and there's more enemies than they can count. Amen? And just as it looks like things are lost and things are over, you would hear the sound of the bugle as the cavalry came across the mountaintop. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Some trust in chariots tonight and some in men. Amen? Some in horses. But we know where our help comes from tonight tonight. Amen. Amen. We will look to the hills from which cometh our help. Man may not understand. Mama may not understand. Your husband may not understand. Your wife may not understand. But there is one tonight that understands your need, understands your heart, and hears your tears. Amen. Amen. The psalmist David had been through many things in his life. And like us, a lot of them was his fault. Amen. The grief and the pain that he felt from his failure to God when he prayed his prayer of repentance, he said against you and against you alone have I sinned. Whenever he sinned with Bathsheba, whenever he killed her husband, 
Amen. Let's just lay the blame. I know there's a long story and there's a way that it took place, but the Bible says, David, you killed him. Amen. Come on. Whenever he did all of those things and he found himself, oh God, what have I done? Yeah. Amen. When Nathan the prophet stood before him and told the story of the man that had all the lambs that he needed, yet he took the one little lamb from the man that only had one, and David's righteous indignation welled up with inside of, inside of him. And he said, Who is he? I'll kill this man. And when Nathan the prophet looked him stone cold in the face and pointed his finger and said, David, it's you. You're the one that did it. I can't even imagine the fear, the, grip, the, the, the sorrow that gripped his soul and his heart whenever he heard Nathan say, You're the one that has done this awful thing. Amen. And his prayer of repentance would be created me a clean heart, renew a right spirit within me. David knew what it was like to be in the midnight hour. David knew what it was like whenever nobody else understood what he was going through. David knew what it was like to mess up. Yes, sir. And it was nobody's fault but his. Exactly. Through all of that shame that he brought because of his sin with Bathsheba, there is one striking thing to admire in that. Oh. He never blamed nobody but himself. Amen. He didn't blame God. He didn't blame Bathsheba. He didn't blame any. He didn't blame Micah, which apparently their marriage wasn't so great. Amen. But he didn't blame his wife. Right. He said, "I did this thing. Right. This is my sin. Amen. This is my fault." So David knew what it was like to lay bare before the holy God. Yes. And say, I am nothing, and you are everything. Amen. So he writes Psalms, the 139th chapter, and he begins it like this. The Bible says to the chief musician, a psalm of David, O Lord, Thou hast searched me Amen. and known me. Yep. <laughs> Amen. Oh, God, see, you might be able to hide your stuff from the pastor. Come on. The pastor might be able to hide his stuff from you. But there is one that tries the reins of the heart tonight. Amen. There is one that searches the inward thoughts and the belly of man. Amen. Oh. David said, you, Lord, have searched me. You know me. Yes. Even when David thought he had hit his sin real good, right. nobody knew. I got away with it. God knew. Yes. God knew. Amen. Yes, it is. David realized that God knew his heart. True. You've searched me and known me. Like I said, you know me. Reese knows me better. Yes. Nobody knows me like God. Amen. Amen. Right. I know Sister Cindy. Brother Scott knows Sister Cindy better. Amen. But ain't nobody knows Sister Cindy like God does. Amen. 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 Ain't nobody knows you like God knows. True. He really knows us. Amen. Come on. Verse 2 says, Thou knowest my downsetting and my uprising. Right. Thou understandest my thought afar off. All right. He knows your thoughts and the intent of your heart. Amen. Absolutely. He knows your thoughts. The Bible even says in one place that He knows what you have need of before you even right. ask it. Amen? Right. Come on. God knows our thoughts. Absolutely. He knows our heart. Yes. Verse 3 says, Thou compassest my path and my lying down and art acquainted with all my ways. All right. Amen? Amen? You know me, Lord. Mm -hmm. All my ways. Some of them good and some of them bad. Amen. I've heard people say, I don't, and ain't that I don't like them, I don't like their ways. Amen. Well, God knows your ways. Yes, sir. Amen. God knows our ways. Exactly. Because He compasses our path and our line down, and He is acquainted with all of our ways. Yes, sir. What's verse 4 say? For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it all together. Amen. Even when I can't speak, you know the intent of my heart. You know the thoughts of my mind. 
You know the tears that roll down my face whenever I lay it in my in, on my couch, as David called it his couch. Amen. Whenever I lay there and weep through the night, Lord, whenever words have escaped me, you know my heart. Amen. You know. Sometimes the words won't come. Right. Amen. True. Sometimes you can we we get so worried about how our prayer sounds. I've heard people say, Well, I can't pray good. Well, that's stupid. What do you mean you can't pray good? You mean it don't sound good to man? God don't care how eloquent you pray. Amen. All right. God don't care how eloquent we pray. God can hear us. Yes. And when we find our place, Brother Dave, to the, in the place where with words will not come, and all we can do is weep and sob. Has anybody else been there before? Yes. Have you ever been to the place where just words would not come, Amy? Amen? And you couldn't find you couldn't find the words to explain, the words to talk to God even. All you can yes. do is cry. Yes, sir. God understands that. Exactly. Amen. Keep on crying, Brother Tyler. Yeah. The words will come. Amen. Amen. Whenever Peter denied the Lord, mm -hmm. and the Lord looked at him, the Bible says when Peter realized what he that what he had did, and he remembered that Jesus had told him, "You'll deny me three times before the night's over." Mm -hmm. Amen. What does the Bible say happened to Peter? The Bible says that Peter went out and said a great long prayer of fancy words and he did all this thing. No, the Bible says he went out and he wept bitterly. Amen? I believe that for a time anyway, words would not come to Peter. I believe that he was to the place where he was so grieved, where he was so tore, tore up because what he had just done, the only thing that would come was tears. Mm -hmm. Come on. And when you find yourself in that place, just hold on. Keep crying. The words will eventually come. Amen. Yes. God understands. I've seen people come to an old-fashioned altar seeking salvation from God and all they can do is cry and bawl and snot and weep. God understands that. Amen. Amen. God knows your heart. Yes, sir. He hears your tears. He knows even when words won't come, He understands you. Exactly. You don't have to explain to God what's going on in your life. Even when you can't find the words, the Lord knows your heart. Amen. When you can't get a prayer out of your mouth, all right. when all you can do is cry, the Lord hears your tears. Tears are a language that He understands. Amen. Yes, sir. Your tears are precious enough to Him that He stores them. Mm -hmm. Come on. Amen. Come on. Bottles them up. That's one of the things I want to see when I get to heaven. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Where's those tears at? Right. Amen. Come on. Where's, those, where's those bottles? I know there's more than one of her. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. God understands your tears. Amen. Amen. The Bible teaches us that God knows our every thought and our every word, spoken or unspoken. Yes. You may think wicked things against me and never say them and think, well, nobody will ever know. Somebody knows. Yes, sir. Amen. God knows. Mm -hmm. I have to repent over thoughts. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. And when we don't know what to pray, yeah. the Bible says in Romans 8, 26 and 27, the Holy Spirit makes yes. intercession for us. Amen. Right. With groanings which cannot be uttered. Amen. As a matter of fact, it says, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. Yes, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit, thank God for the Spirit, amen. amen? The Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is it, what is the mind of the Spirit because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Come on. Mm -hmm. He knows. Amen. He knows your thoughts and your heart and your tears. Amen. And whenever the prayer just won't come, mm -hmm. when the words will not come, right. David said, when the words are not in my mouth, mm -hmm. you know my heart. Come on. You have searched me. Yes. You know my the intent right. of my heart. You know my thoughts. Amen. Amen. You know my thoughts. What a comfort tonight to know that even whenever you are so perplexed 
so in deep despair that you can't do nothing but sob. God hears that. All right. He's not. He's not sitting some back somewhere thinking, wonder what's wrong with Tyler. Mm. Looks like he's crying. What's wrong with him? I guess I'll wait for him to tell me. No, he already knows. Amen. He already knows. Now I realize the Bible says you have not because you ask not, and I'm not saying that it's okay for you to never use words in your prayers. I'm telling you that until the words come, he knows what you he knows what's going on in your mind. Amen. He knows what the tears are for. He hears your the cry of your heart. Amen. Yes. There is a cry that comes from within your heart that may not ever make it to your mouth. Amen. Right. God hears that. God hears that. Come on. So until the words come, just keep letting the tears flow. Amen. Until you can fight, and they will. Right. They will. Amen. You're hurting. You're crying. You're weeping. That's all you can do. That's fine. God understands that. Yes, sir. God understands that. If you're out there and you think, well, I must not have gotten my answer from God because I haven't prayed right. God knows what you need. Absolutely. God knows what's wrong in your life. Amen. Amen. Man makes things. They say, well, you have to say it like this. No. Oh God, thou art in heaven that have drawn the, the streams out on the mountainsides with thy fingertips and blah, blah, blah. Amen. Even go so far as say, oh, you got to pray laying down. You got to pray standing up. You got to pray kneeling down. Don't get me wrong. I think kneeling before the Lord is a great thing if you're physically able to do it. Amen. But God is more interested in the posture of your heart than He is your body. Amen? Oh, wow. If you kneel before Him and your, your will still standing up and you think that's getting you brownie points with Him, you might as well be standing up. Amen? Wow. You might as well be sitting up. God wants, the, God wants us at the altar more so in our heart than He does our physical body. And the physical body is good. But not if you're doing it just because you think that makes your prayer more closer to being answered with God. Oh, Many times our flesh does things that because we feel like they make us holier. Amen? Come on. We feel like they make us holier. Come on. There's a lot of things that we do and they're great things to do and we should do those things. But if you think that they make you holier or more righteous in the sight of God, you'd be better off not doing them. Amen. The only thing that makes you holy, the only thing that makes you righteous, the only thing that makes you acceptable in the sight of a just and a holy God is being washed in the blood of the Lamb. Amen? Amen? No other way to be justified. You're not just partly justified. You're either all the way justified or you ain't justified at all. There's no part to this thing. Amen? Come on. Washed in the blood of the Lamb. Yes. God cares more about the posture of your heart than He does the posture of your body Absolutely. when you pray. What a wonderful God. That no matter how much we falter, no matter how much we fail, no matter how much we find ourselves where the words just won't come, He understands. Amen? Yes, sir. He understands what we need. True. He understands your tears. Amen. Amen. When you're alone and you're weeping in the darkness, God <clears throat> hears that. Yes. He knows. He knows you're hurt. And He loves you. Wow. He loves me. He's not some dictator that is going to wipe you off the face of the earth when you mess up. It's what Jesus came for. Amen. Amen. Because He knew that you going to mess up. Right. Amen. And when you find yourself where you can't put into words, God understands. Amen. Amen. Just keep praying. Just keep crying if that's all you can do. Moaning. Groanings that cannot be understood by man. Amen? Allow the Spirit to pray through you. Amen? Allow the Spirit to intercede through you. Many times we don't know what's best. To, we don't know how to pray like the Bible says as we ought. But the Spirit knows. Right. And the Spirit will pray through you. Yes, Amen? Right. Happens around here all the time. Amen. Amen? The Spirit will pray through you. Right. Let Him do that. Amen. Let Him do that. Don't get, don't get caught up thinking that it has to be a fancy prayer. Don't get caught up thinking it has to be this, this ten point thing or God's not going to answer you. Just lay yourself before God. And if all you can do is weep, weep until the words come. Amen? Because He hears what's going on inside your heart. He understands you. He understands me. 
He yes, understands sir. your tears. Amen. Amen. He hears your heart. He hears your heart. Absolutely. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 10 and 13, There hath no temptation taken, uh, taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful. Yes. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. How many people have ever thought, Lord, you sure about that? Amen. He won't allow anything to come on you except for that that you're able to bear. But with the temptation also will make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Amen. Right. So don't find yourself condemned thinking that you can't you can't get your answer. You can't make it through because you ain't holy enough. You ain't righteous enough. You can't pray pretty enough. i got to go find somebody that can reach God with a pretty prayer because He ain't interested. He's more interested in your heart. Amen. He talks about a people that are close to Him with their mouth, but far away their with heart, their heart. heart. Amen? True. He's more interested where your heart's at. Amen? On, Give me an old wrinkled up, redneck, old preacher from the hills of Kentucky. Amen? I ain't talking about me. It will be pretty soon. But that, that, that spent some time with God. Amen. They can't use the long words from the dictionary, but knows how to cry out to God. Amen? Right. I'll take that over the Harvard boys anytime if they can't get a hold of God. Yes, sir. Pretty prayers don't impress God. We try to impress man. Amen? When you open the service in prayer, oh, Father God. Yeah. Just be real. Just be real. Talk from your heart. When you when you can't talk, let your heart talk to God. Amen. Let your heart do the talking. Amen. True. Isaiah fifty five and eight. Y'all remember this? I'm closing. By the way, Isaiah fifty five and eight says, "For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways," saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, right. so are my ways higher Amen. than your ways, yeah. and my thoughts than your thoughts. Amen. Amen. I like to fall back on that when somebody tries to explain God to me. <laughs> hey, good luck with that. Amen. Come on. When people try to explain to me how that it can't be the way the Bible says. All right. Compared to God, you don't know nothing. Amen. Compared to God, Albert Einstein didn't know nothing. Right. Amen. True. Compared to God, the smartest man, the wisest man that ever lived, Solomon. Amen. Right. But compared to God's knowledge, he didn't know nothing. Amen. God's thoughts are above our thoughts. Yes, sir. He understands our heart. He searches us. He hears our tears when we cry. Absolutely. He understands the heart of man. David said, you've searched me and you know me. Yes. Amen. You've searched me and you know me. True. So when you find yourself to the place where you can't pray, all you can do is cry. Just That's fine. The words will come. And until that time, God hears your heart. Yes. He hears your tears. Amen. Amen. He understands you. He understands me. Amen. Amen. Better than we understand ourselves. Yes. To finish up there in Isaiah 55, he goes on to say, For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth the bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, Amen. but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. Oh, isn't that good? Amen. Amen. Isn't that good? Yes. For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing. And all of the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Isn't that wonderful? Do you know the trees praise God? Amen. They shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree. Instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree. There you are, Mama. And it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Amen. All right. Isn't that beautiful? Good oh, I tell you what. I don't know why you don't need that other mess. Can't be put no better than the King James puts it. 
Amen. God cares about you. Yes. He knows your heart, Brother Dave. Yes, He does. When you find yourself not being able to do nothing but cry, right. don't let the devil kick you. Just keep on crying. Amen. 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 Keep on crying. Right. The Lord understands that. He hears Amen. your tears. He knows your heart. Amen. Right. David said, In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Amen. Yes. Jesus loves you. Hold Amen. on. He'll bring you through whatever it is you're going through. Amen. Right. He knows us. He knows us. Hallelujah. Someone else tonight have something before we go. I tell you what, if it gets any gooder, God's going to have